I want to start this story with a simple question. How come that a Dutch politician named Joris Deming, unknown to the American audience, has more power today than President Nixon had back in his days? You see, when President Nixon was tied into the Watergate scandal, he was forced to resign. But here we have Mr. Deming, Joris Deming, involved in a scandal far more worse than the Watergate scandal ever was, but still holding on to his power until today. It is unbelievable. The story that I'm about to tell you is not a fictional story. It is a story based on factuality. It has nothing to do with conspiracy theory. And I hope it will change your view of what Holland really is forever. Because you see, some of my American friends told me that, you know, you live in a great country, you know. Holland is a small country, but it has great and big liberties, you know. You can smoke pot on the street. You can smoke a joint if you want to in front of a police officer in the street. True or false? True. If you would do that, the officer would ask you, do you have another one to spare? Yeah. But then that's not freedom, folks. That's not freedom. You see, if this would be freedom, if this country would be about democracy, Mr. Deming could not be in office today. He could not be in power today. After the scandal that I called the Deming Gate broke out, you know, he didn't resign. He did not have to resign. He has more power than President Nixon ever had. Think about that. Now I'm going to introduce you to a guy, and it's the only guy. It was a Dutch journalist, you know, who had the balls to confront Mr. Deming with the core of the scandal. I'm going to show you the original footage of that historical moment and I'm going to translate what it is that is said there. I'm not going to subtitle it. I'm going to show you the footage and I'm going to tell you exactly what it is that this journalist states, right? So, before we are going to watch that footage, remember that the Watergate scandal when it broke out, it involved all the president's men. It was a huge scandal. Lots and lots of people were involved. But when it broke out, it forced Nixon to resign, period. And here we have this man, this Mr. Deming, this unknown Dutch politician. This unknown man having more power than the entire Nixon machinery at the peak of its days. Keep that in mind. Now, let's watch the footage. Mr. Deming, are you still abusing children? Are you a pedophile, Mr. Deming? When did you last abuse a child? Why don't you talk to me, Mr. Deming? We pay you with our tax money. Are you abusing children? Are you a pedophile, Mr. Deming? 
You are making more than 180,000 euros a year. What are you doing with this money? Pinocchio Bar, do you know a guy named Frank Leinders? Mr. Deming? Did you ever visit the Pinocchio Bar? What did you do in Japan, Mr. Deming? What did you do in Japan? Now, who is this Mr. Deming? Mr. J. Deming was born on December the 11th, 1947. And he is the highest government official of the Department of Justice. Under his responsibility, we find the entire Dutch justice system, but also the Dutch Forensic Institute, for example, or the Immigration and Naturalization Services. He's also the national coordinator of counter-terrorism. Because of all this, Mr. Deming is the most powerful man of our country and there should be no question whatsoever about his integrity by law because of all these accusations our court system is about to collapse it's on the verge of breakdown it's about to be crushed under the weight of public opinion Mr. Deming spends more than 18,000 euros each and every year on liquor and dinners. On top of that, the accusations in relation to pedophilia are so severe that, you know, it defies belief. Mr. Deming's private residence, Riaustra 13 in Den Haag, turned out to be a registered children's daycare center. We know this because of a publication of the local newspaper in Den Haag, the Posthorn. Because of the fact that in 2005 Dutch law dictated that children's daycare centers should be registered, this story also broke. Mr. Deming also turned out to be a wanted man in Turkey, where certain authorities claimed that he had abused Turkey's children during his many state visits. Let's listen to the testimony of some of his Turkish victims. <laughs> 